the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, spirit. spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Send to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the world, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from the font of the heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. you were more numerous than any other people, but the Lord has set his heart on you and chose you, for you were the fewest of all peoples. It was because the Lord loved you and kept the oath that he swore to your fathers, that the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slavery, from the, la from the hand of the Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God, who, ma who maintains covenant loyalty with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, who directly repays with destruction the one who rejects him. He does not delay, but repays directly the one who rejects him. Therefore, observe diligently the commandment, the statutes, and the ordinances that I am commanding you today. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Thank you God. 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 The sponsorial song, our response is, The steadfast love of the Lord is everlasting on those who fear him. The steadfast the love of the Lord is everlasting on those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. The steadfast love, the steadfast love is the Lord, Lord everlasting to fear him. It is the Lord who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. The steadfast love of the Lord is everlasting to fear him. 
The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The steadfast love of the Lord who ever must come to fear him. fear him. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. The steadfast love of the Lord is everlasting to those who fear him. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of Sin Chen. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this love, not that we love God, but he loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in them, that and that person is God. So we have known and believe that the love of God that God has for us God is love, and the one who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. He continued, All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Father, the Son, except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. 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 Today on this uh, solemnity of the Sacred Heart, um, I just wanted to review the beautiful promises that God makes to us for um, following the different the devotions of First Friday and keeping the solemnity of the Sacred Heart. So these are the 12 promises given to Margaret Mary Eloquo um, around the Sacred Heart. He will give them all the graces necessary for, in their state in life. He will establish peace in their homes. He will comfort them in all their afflictions. He will be their secure refuge during life, above all in death. He will bestow abundant blessings upon all their undertakings. Sinners will find in his heart the source and infinite ocean of mercy. Lukewarm souls will become fervent. Fervent souls shall quickly mount to high perfection. He will bless every place in which his heart is exposed and honored. <coughs> He will give to the priests the gifts to touch the most hardened hearts. Those who shall prom who promote this devotion shall have their names written in his heart. In the excess of mercy of his heart, his all-powerful love will grant those who receive Holy Communion on first Fridays in nine consecutive months the grace of final perseverance. 
they shall not die in his disgrace, nor without receiving these sacraments. His divine heart shall be their safe refuge at the last moment. The devotions attached to the promises are receiving Holy Communion frequently, First Friday is going to confession and receiving the Eucharist on First Friday of each month for nine months. Many parishes will offer public First Friday devotions. If they do, you must perform the Fridays publicly. If it is not offered in your parish, you can do so privately. Going to confession, receiving um, receiving the Eucharist, and offering your prayers for the intentions of the Holy Father. Uh, holy hour at our Eucharistic adoration, one hour on Thursday. And holy hour can be made alone or part of a group with formal prayer. And then the celebration of the Feast of the Sacred Heart. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into heaven. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Your brothers and sisters gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God. Let's ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, for Pope Emeritus Benedict, for our Bishop Joseph. For their health, intentions, and constant growth in faith, hope, and charity. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for um, a devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus that we may um, entrust ourselves into these beautiful promises. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for unity within our parish that we may truly be the body of Christ, and to live out that reality. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the sick and the dying, those who have asked us to pray for them. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This Mass we offer up in a special way for Father James. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And if you have any prayers and intentions, you may offer them up now. For all expectant mothers of babe and their babies will be safe and healthy and that they'll have safe delivery. Let us we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray for my brother, Jacint. God help them to reach his goal. For this I pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. <coughs> for all the fathers, for all Father's Day. Bless each and every one of them and um, keep them safe. For this I pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Prayer. Of all the first responders, especially at this time of the pandemic, may it bring them safety. For this I pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. <coughs> We 
pray for all the holy souls in purgatory, and we ask them to join us with the saints and angels in heaven, especially our Blessed Mother, St. Joseph, St. Francis, St. Christopher, St. Jervis, to pray for more vocations to the priesthood, to the consecrated life of the holy matrimony, to preserve all those in their vocations and assist us in our universal call of holiness. For this we pray to the Lord. To the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, 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 God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let us become part of our Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your own, for the praise and glory of his name, for all the good of this church and the Holy Church. Look, O oh Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you, and an expiation of our offenses, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love, and poured out blood and water from his pure side, the wellsprings of the church sacrament. So that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. indeed holy, O Lord, the fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
This all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be called ours to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the power of the glory of our now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but I will say the Lord, my soul shall be My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Holy Spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.